room. Hello, Dick. Hello, John. As usual, give me a moment to configure things, and we'll do the fizz. Uh, excellent, excellent. So, chat room, what's new? Who's doing something exciting? Who did something really wonderfully thrilling this past week? We should, I guess, we should have crickets for that. Hey, Genthman. Hope this phrase of hypersensitivity is over. That dolphin is so rude. Oh, God. Empty pockets. The dolphin is so rude, but he doesn't do it on porpoise. Uh, okay, at least it's something. Uh, no, Myra reached her, her uh, temperature threshold, okay? It was like 89. It was too close to 90. <laughs> also, she's worried that they're going to be closing the pool soon. So she stayed... At home. Miss D did three interviews in one week. Okay. Hey, Roberto. Wow. Rare shot of Jamma B roaming around. Yeah, oh, only you saw that. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Yeah, the, 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 and the, he that, was totally naked. And, and, and it wasn't me, actually. I'm sitting here. I'm, I'm, that's not me. That, oh, that was not you. That's okay. somebody else. Who, oh, okay. who, who, who we're not going to say who. Leave it oh. to you to wonder. Anyway, um, I'm getting close to being ready. Oh, no problem. Uh, I see you on ABC. Uh, thank you for that. 90 and over, everyone in the pool, exactly. <laughs> Jim Tez says, leave every, oh, Marchon, I guess, says, leave, live every day as if it were your last, because one day it will be. True, true, true. Allegedly, empty pockets. Um... What is on my shirt, Becky says. Uh, just palm trees. -da -da. Okay, it's a little overkill. But I figured, what the heck? What the heck? Which is a Steve Jobs quote, Jim Tez? I guess one. <laughs> oh yeah if i get spaghetti sauce on this it won't show so that's good please tell me where did you buy that beautiful shirt i'll send you a link i got it on amazon it looks like the end of the world scene from terminator oh i hope not huh? okay mm, my laugh is working okay good very okay. good all so right okay so um, this is episode 489. This is August uh, 20. 20. August 20. All right. If you're ready, are you ready? If you're ready. I am so ready, pal. You're so ready. All righty then. Let's see. I got this in the right. Uh, I got my, oops, no, I need this. Hi there. Oops, Thanks for listening to Twit. Stop that. Okay. All right. So now I'm in the right place. Uh, okay, so this is the Giz Fizz, episode 489, recorded on Saturday, August 20th, 2022, and it'll begin in three, two. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for... It's the Giz Fizz, with the Giz Wiz, it's kind of like... Cheese whiz. It's the Giz Fizz. And now your host, Matt Mattis Ryder and the Giz Whiz, Dick DiBartolo. Welcome to regular old fashioned Giz Fizz. What happened to the Hop Ladies? All right, I guess they're on strike. Are they on strike? Did you not hear the harp? No. Regular old-fashioned giz fizz. 
Oh, it's way, way in the back. Ah, oh, there we are. There we are. Okay. All right. All right. So now the right. line has formed. <laughs> uh, the line has formed to be chat room celebrity of the week. So. All right. That cricket is going to be chat room celebrity of the week. And we went through all the videos that people didn't send in. So we have no videos. Um, I don't know, chat room. At least you participate in the captions and answering stuff. So I guess we'll just do another show starting with we have photos, you caption, uh, compliments of George Davis. Now we have a new thing George started a couple of months ago fascinating facts we'll do those we have some logo we have a couple of i'm not saying you're stupid where you guess statistics we're going to do a snappy answer you write the snappy answer to a stupid question and probably a couple of beer commercials and then match game send a video to oh you know send it to um uh, john at twitch John send a link. TV. Don't send a video. Oh, link. Send I'm sorry, link. not the video. Put it up on YouTube. Uh, there's a drop-down menu. Click unlisted. Don't click private because then no one but you can see it. Click unlisted and then send John the URL. And then only people with the URL can see that video. Okay? Anything one to three minutes. Uh, and anything about you or your house or your pets, just make it a sharing experience okay that would be that would really be great i remember the first time we talked about this george said uh oh my god you're going to get thousands of i said george you don't know this chat room okay uh all right so we will start with photos from george davis that you caption photo number one uh okay three young girls uh, jumping and in this photo all three are mid air three girls in the park jumping and all three are mid air uh sea girls jump alien abduction uh the day the, the world stood still Next three weeks worth of chat room celebrity of the week. Yeah, if they were, if they would volunteer, uh, practice for space station. I love what you do for me, Toyota. I just learned how to do Photoshop. Oh no, the earth is falling. <laughs> Gravity is on the fritz, on the fritz. Oh, what a feeling. The day gravity stopped working. Back to school excitement. Dot should be day zero gravity. We got it on take five. School's out forever. If you don't believe in gravity, it doesn't believe in you. The rapture, hooray. Stranger things, legless, midair and mid-teens. Uh, Max Sikora accomplishment, Hoover mode engaged. So glad Supreme Court overruled the rule law of gravity. Show us, oh, show us if you stepped in dog crap. Uh, learning how to kick the habit. Oh my God, are we the first people that learn how to fly? And we'll end with Magoo. Elon Musk anti gravity shoes. Uh, okay. Uh, George said, for three girls jumping in the air, my caption is, oh no. Red ants, and they're biting us. Ouch. Uh, okay. Photo number two. Okay. Ice cream cone, two scoops, vanilla on the bottom. Mmm, raspberry or strawberry on top. Two scoops of ice cream in a cone held in a hand. Uh, wait for it. No. Does this ice cream cone make me look fat? What happened to my trumpet? Sly one says, I want. Ice cream, you scream, we all scream when your thumbs are cut off. Ice cream, Statue of Liberty. Oh, that's funny. Mess waiting to happen. Statue of Liberty torch. 
quick before it melts. I'll have a double dip and then I'll have an ice cream cone. Myra Joyce says, there's my snack. Remodeled Statue of Liberty, impromptu podcasting microphone, colored mashed potatoes. Oh, no. It's cone all the way down. Lick quick before it melts. Is this vegan? How long before the top one falls off? That was dark. Oh, that's a comment. With a cherry on top. Plant-based frozen ice cream. Yuck. Uh, redacted lights were off. Just turned them on. Another fake food Google photo. Recycling used waffles. What diet? Ice cream before the heat in Arizona got to it. Not ice cream, it's Play-Doh. We all ice cream until it's done. And we'll end with Gumby. It's melting. It's melting. Okay, George said, for the two scoops of ice cream, my caption is, look at how the prices have changed over the years. When I was 10, two scoops was 10 cents. Now it's two ninety nine, <laughs> two ninety nine. If this is Manhattan, George, five ninety nine would be the low if it was that cheap. Uh, okay, photo three. Photo three. Whoa! Looks like a flying saucer over Chicago. It's not New York. Uh, flying saucer. I don't. I don't recognize. I don't see the, ser- the the one recognizable building in Chicago skyline. So I don't think it's Chicago either. Yeah. No. Okay. It's. Oh, uh, it doesn't matter. The city's doomed. <laughs> City about to be lost with a flying saucer over it, and lightning everywhere. My Uber just arrived. Not Chicago. Not Minneapolis. Stormy weather. Alien Roomba. That's good. Drunk driving aliens. No, Leo, don't fly the drone again. Just another Monday in the big city. They do exist. They do exist. Greetings, earthlings. Here's a charge for you. Uh, They finally came back to take me home. Where are those jumping teens? Is that Dick's boat on the left? No, I have a power boat. Had a power boat. Um, Not a flying saucer. It's a Frisbee. Thank goodness the aliens are finally invading. Actually, that's not bad. It's been a welcome change. Welcome back, Skylab. Day the world ended. Take me home. Captain Kurt returning for liberty. Turn the boat around. May not be solar, but the source of power should do the trick. Did this city call an Uber to Mars? Tesla's new vehicle sure takes a lot to charge. Man of War jellyfish from outer space. Aliens are attacking us. Finally, my ride has arrived. Uh, Big Apple about to be swallowed by a wormhole. And we'll end with Dale Paco. Can't we just stop the clouds from forming every time we land? Uh, Okay, George says, for a large spaceship over a big city, I was planning on going to a movie. Now all I have to worry about is the power will go off. I think you have a lot more more to worry about than just the power going off. Okay, photo four. Photo four. Um, $100 bills. $100 bills all fanned out. And... In front of them is a pack of $10 bills. Okay. Fanned out $100 bills and in the center, a wad of $10 bills. Uh, Ben and Jefferson, my kind of photo, Wheel of Fortune. These new bills I printed look great. Love hitting the big jackpot. Print is working nicely. Freshly minted. It's all about the Benjamins button. Uh, what the Gizwiz makes on each show. 
Yeah, right. Uh, nice Valentine gift. Now, this is all worth about a dollar sixty-four. Making hay. I love money. Doesn't Ben Franklin look like he's saying, "Yeah, this is real." Uh, hmm. Which ones should I choose? Now we're playing with rock star guitarist Loot. Hundreds, tens, and five. Which pile was worth more? Celebrity chat room with the week bonuses. Uh, print more, more. This is an expensive fan. Money can buy you love. Money, money, money. This will get many cones. Newest Valentine arrangement. Benny's Revenge. Richie Rich dartboard. Money makes the world go round. Government spending money like a drunken sailor. Jeff Bezos pocket change. And Okaru says, I found all this in my mattress. Uh, let's see. George said for photo four, a whole bunch of money <laughs> is how uh, George describes it. For the whole bunch of money, my caption is, if we were to offer this amount of money to be Salat Room Charity of the Week, would there be a waiting list? I'm not even sure there would, George. This chat room is immovable. Um, yeah, so I go to Chase. I guess never go to the, the cash machine on a Sunday. I go to Chase uh, to get $100 in the cash machine. And fortunately, it tells you. It says, your $100 will be one one hundred dollar bill now what what are you going to do with a hundred dollar bill anyway um okay photo that was photo four photo five whoa photo five we're in the ocean a uh, humongous wave with a surfer in the ocean humongous wave and one surfer riding the wave. Uh, uh, um. Totally tubular, George. Cowabunga, webbing the search. Gnarly dude. Jaws lurking. What is this? A surfer for ants? Hope she can swim. Me riding the tunnel in my dreams. Shooting the curl. Sharknado, water edition. Can't get Wi-Fi out here. Get pitted. Don't look back. Doug says, my commute is hell. I'd rather work from home. Um, Giz, you should have gotten $502. But no, the, the, the option was $100 bills. Uh, this is how I commute to my job on the island. Um, that splash would cool things down. Surfing USA. I'm the one that went under the water already surfing time perfect when the hurricane's coming to shore that's not a man it's bigfoot heck of a commute to work it's a snake swallowing an ant hawaii 5 on the next giz fizz riding the big wave to that money trail hanging 10 uh-oh lost my earplugs looks like an e-board Latest flood in Vegas, and we'll end with Gumby. I think our street drain is stopped up. Uh, okay, and George said, for huge waves for the surfer, at this time of year, most days look like this. It's fun to watch these guys do their thing. Okay, and six of six is this photo. Looks like the, you know, let's see what Joy put for this. Oh, okay. Hundreds of fiber optic lines. Okay, we're looking at the end, the lit end of the fiber optic lines. Okay. Uh, 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 fiber optic lamp. I should have half gone left. 1,000 points of light. George Bush's 1,000 point of light. Light the firecracker. It'll be fun. 1.83 gigabytes. Fiber optics fun. 
<laughs> Big Don says, the data is escaping. Uh, who cut the fiber? My internet is down. So that's why my cable is out. The end user is lit. That's what the spaceship and the other photo is looking for. Fiber optic fireflies. Another, now I know why the internet is down. Uh, uh oh, Moa ran over the cable again. Dick's nest, next LED show. Starlink burst, 1980s light. Another thousand, oh, thousand pointless lights. Elrond's next project looks what it looks like when the telephone guy cuts the cord by accident. Weeds on the planet of Corningware. Uh, all this fiber and my internet still goes out and we'll end with chicken head says, my doctor recommends more fiber in my diet. Uh, uh, uh. George said, um, for the hundreds of fiber optic ca cables, my caption is, Mrs. Bellinger, we're looking hard to find your optic line. We'll connect your service when we do. It's uh, Elon, not Elron. Different people. Different, different people. Okay. Well, I meant Elron. Um, okay. Amazing facts about bees. From uh, George. Wow. I looked at the answer. A female bee produces how much money? How much money? <laughs> I'm thinking of that, those $100 bills. A female bee produces how much money in her life? How much honey in her lifetime? It's this all about answer, the money, honey. It? Yeah. I can't believe this answer. A female bee produces how much honey in her lifetime? A teaspoon, a ray, a whole high full, none, five gallons, two quarts. Just enough to the city, enough honey to go shopping. I don't know if only female bees produce honey, but 40 pounds, three tablespoons. Uh, all of it, but she nags the whole time. None, it's the work of bees that produce it. 42 milliliters, eight gallons, one liter. A tablespoon. Did it say? It didn't say queen bee. It said a female bee produces how much money in her lifetime? How much honey in her lifetime? Jamma bee? What's your guess? Has Jamma bee left us? <laughs> the bees are at, my left. guess? Yeah. Are you asking me my guess? Yes. Uh, I, I, can't, I can't, can't concentrate with all these bees in here. <laughs> well, ask them. All right, I will. You, you, got, you want to take a guess? Uh, no. Okay. A honey bee produces one teaspoon of honey in her lifetime. Uh, that's not very much. Boy, no. I feel guilty now. I put a teaspoon of honey in my tea, and this poor woman worked a whole life. Yeah, but there's a, they're tiny, and there's a whole bunch of them. Yeah, that's true. How many miles... What? How many miles does one beehive have have to fly to produce a pound of honey? I'll, I'll read it again. How many miles does one beehive have to fly to produce one pound of honey? 
Yeah, I know. 25 miles. 10 miles. George, uh, you know, just in case this is wrong, can someone Google? Uh, I have an idea that there's a mistake in this question. How one hive, how many miles does one beehive have to fly to produce one pound of honey? And the answer here is 55,000. Well, if you have uh, 110,000 bees and they each go a half a mile. Oh, oh, uh, oh, I see. Uh, okay. I get what you're saying. I, uh, I hear what you're saying. That's good. So uh, my gu my about... guess would be uh, 100,000. Or whatever number you just uh, said. That was my guess. <laughs> you are half right. It's 55,000. Um. One hive produces how much honey in a year? One hive produces how much honey in a year? Boy, beekeepers are not rolling in money. One hive produces how much honey in a year? Boy, they are. I would get a screen for that door. Ten pounds. Uh, let's see. The answer is in pounds. Okay. George's answer is in pounds. One hive produces how much honey in a year? Answering in pounds. Uh, 300 pounds. Raven, 100 pounds. That's a lot of teaspoons. 100 pounds. Jeremy B., you want to jump in with an answer? Uh, I know 150 the answer pounds. Now. Um, East Coast and someone else is right. It is 100 pounds and Jamma B is right. 100 pounds. Well, close enough. And then I think I knew this. I think that uh, um, only the female bee stings. Only the female bee stings. And the male bees, bees stink. <laughs> and uh, as I recall, they sting and they die. Is that right? With bees, that's correct. Yeah. So they have, they have to figure: is my, my giving up my life worth it to sting this person? <laughs> Okuru says, "It's true. Females are evil. Um, take care, everybody. Stay happy and healthy." See you next time with more fun. George, thank you. Thank you for the photos. And thank you for the fun facts. Oh, did, did you get that video finally? I did. All right. A little 17-second video. Very depressing last weekend. It was the final. It's just 17 seconds. You can just run it and I can talk over it. The final for the 2022 season of Silent Disco. And I, I love Silent Disco. They actually had another, had a band concert at a, Lincoln, Lincoln Center is very big. They have, they have three outdoor stages. There's another outdoor stage with a band concert. Uh, and uh, last, yesterday, a friend came into the city and I said, go by Lincoln Center. There's an incredible mirrored ball. And he called me later and said, you know, I, I must have missed it because I didn't see it. And I was talking to another friend of mine who lives near there. And she said, do you know Friday night they took the mirrored ball away? And I said, oh, that's why you didn't see it. Because to walk by uh, Lincoln Center and not see a 10-foot mirrored ball uh, would be difficult. Okay. Ta -da! We're doing logo mixed in with I'm not saying you're stupid mixed mixed in with more logo. I we'll have the old logo game. Uh, Roberto, just to let you know, yellow jackets. That is correct. Yellow jackets can sting over and over and over. Um. Uh -uh. Okay. <laughs>
Dum, dum. Was that a goat? That sound? Uh, it was. Um. So what? The 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 ten foot mirrored ball is leaving Lincoln Center, and the goats are leaving Riverside Park soon. Um, someone had a brilliant idea. It was it was very clever. Is there's further uptown? I'm I'm at 82nd Street, and I believe it was starting at about 120th Street. Riverside Park is, is a deep slope toward the river and it's all fenced up because you would people would just roll down it and it's anyway it was overgrown with everything and someone said why don't we just bring in some sheep or is it uh, who eats grass is it sheep or is it goats now i'm con- both but i think Go- goats, but both goats that okay. are trucked around to eat the vegetables yeah. Anyway, I guess it was goats. Thank you. Okay. So they brought in 24 goats and they cleared like a mile area in a month. So they had to take most of the goats back to the farm where they got them from. And this year they only brought in four goats because they feel four goats can clean up the area in the summer all by themselves. Oh, yes. Thank you, Mandy the Clown. That was the other problem. Poison ivy everywhere. And Mandy the Clown pointed out that goats eat poison ivy. So, uh, see, boy, this is like a learning experience. Uh, Potluck. What scouring cleanser takes its brand name from a hero of Greek mythology? What's Scouring Cleanser takes its name from a hero of Greek mythology. Mr. Clean. (laughs) Uh, Comet, Ajax, 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 Bonami. Old Dutch Cleaner, Drano. Chairman B, guess? Ajax. It is indeed Ajax. Um, What internet company is represented by the logo of a cunning creature wrapped around the globe? Now, this should be easy for this chat room. Which internet company is represented by the logo of a cunning animal wrapped around the globe. Earthlink, Firefox, Microsoft, Prodigy, Mozilla, Earthlink. (laughs) The the cunning internet company. Firefox, Firefox, Firefox. Um... Jamma B. Firefox. It is indeed Firefox. What is the pose Mr. Clean has in the Mr. Clean logo? Can we say a Kimbo? Uh, you can. But I don't have the chat room to type in, so I can't. Oh, okay. What position is Mr. Clean in on the brand's logo? Hands on hip. Oh, arms akimbo. Downward dog. Hands on waist. Arms folded. Side pose. Hand on his chin. Hands on his hips. (laughs) Deceased. Arms crossed. Posing like a poser, a very compromising position. Arms folded, hands on your hips. Uh, Jamma B, um, uh, arms akimbo is also known as. 
Well, I it's your are your hands on your hips and your elbows out. Oh, then it is not. It is standing with his arms crossed. Okay, yeah, that's so that, definitely not a kimbo. Not a kimbo. Standing with arms crossed. Okay, very good. Uh, several people have it. What part of the anatomy is featured in the Goodyear logo? This I know because I've been up in the Goodyear blimp. What part of the anatomy is featured in the Goodyear logo? Uh, love handles. Uh, 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 big toe. Ear. The do, do you consider a piece of apparel a piece of anatomy? A piece of apparel? Are you asking what anatomy? Piece of anatomy? Yeah. Yeah, there's no anatomy in this logo. It's a piece of apparel that goes on a piece of anatomy. It's a foot. It's a winged boot. Does it have toes? Oh. Oh. That doesn't look like a foot. That looks like a boot with a wing. Well, this card says foot. Uh, okay, then Mandy the Clown. It's a foot with shoe with wings. I don't know <laughs> if there's a shoe in that foot. A foot in that shoe? Magoose, uh, okay, Magoo is with you. John gets all the technical probably correct. Um, yes. Bill and I, Bill Gaines and I were going to go up in the Goodyear blimp. Bill is a big, a big blimp fan. And one Saturday he said, oh, let's go out to, uh, was it Lindenhurst? Where, where did the blimp? Lakehurst. Let's go to Lurker, uh, Lakehurst because I have a friend who said he can get us in and we can see where the Hindenburg uh, docked once, I guess. And then uh, the landing field where it, Doc didn't doc, just came to earth. Um, and and then from there, it turned out that Goodyear rents a blimp hanger. Okay. And we met some people from Goodyear. And I said, the publisher man is a big blimp fan. They said, well, come on out. We'll take you guys for a ride. And then, when they saw how big Bill was, they said, well, we're going to take you guys for a ride separately. So <laughs> Bill had to go up by himself. Bill went up by himself, and then I went up. Breaking news, uh, breaking okay. news, Dick. Yes. This just in. I found a version of yes, the Goodyear yes. logo with a toenail. Oh, my goodness. But there's also a heel. So yeah. I'm not... I'm a little confused if it's a it's just a wrapped foot with a heel, but there's a toenail. So I'm still confused. Well, now you're only half right. And everybody else was half right. It's a foot in a sandal. Uh okay. Do, uh, um, do sandals have heels? No. Uh, it's a ghost foot in the shoe. Okay. Uh, uh, um. You know, you know, right, Dick, you know, Dick. Why uh, in the Pacific Northwest they find a lot of uh, shoes and feet on the shore, detached shoes from anybody. Shoes and feet. Yeah. A lot, lots of lots of shoes and feet on the shore in the Pacific Northwest. You mean dead, dead. Well, the, the feet are no longer living. Yes, that's correct. They are, they have been detached from their. You body. mean just the feet? Well, the feet in the shoes. Oh, okay. Because the sharks spit up the shoes. That's why they oh. find the feet in the shoes in the Pacific ah. Northwest. Wow. Do any of them say Goodyear? They're not sandals, no. Oh, okay. Yeah, the, the, okay. the sharks have no problem digesting the sandals. Oh, okay. Um, well, let's see how alcoholic the chat room is. I don't know. You know, I Dick, know I, uh, about uh, maybe, I think maybe 15 years ago, I had a cold and yeah. I drank a, a little cup of NyQuil. And that's the yeah. only alcohol I've ever had. And it, boy, it knocked me out. 
Really? Well, well since, then you since, will since not I turn twenty one and determine that I don't like alcohol, yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, then you do not know at what temperature does vodka freeze? Oh, uh, I have an idea. Okay, at what temperature? You know, I'm confused because I thought alcohol didn't freeze. Isn't that what we put in the tank? So uh, we'll, we'll see what we got here. At what temperature does alcohol freeze? It doesn't, minus 100. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't. 20 below, minus 100, minus 40. 20 below zero, absolute zero. It doesn't. You know, I'm thinking maybe sub, excuse me, sub zero. All right, what's your guess, Jim B, before uh, I look at the card? It's, uh, um, oops, uh, 173 degree, min uh, minus, wait, no, that's not, it's minus. Minus 173, minus 173 degrees. degrees. Okay. Oh, this is interesting. Now let's see if the card concurs. We'll know something about the guy who wrote the card. No. The card is wrong. It says minus 16 Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit? Interesting. Because I get... Uh, oh, wait. Wait. Doug says about... Wait, scroll down. But that says Fahrenheit. 173 Fahrenheit, which is uh, 114, minus 114 Celsius. Yeah, but the card says minus 16 Fahrenheit. What's minus 16? Terribly wrong here. Oh, that's just alcohol. Maybe. Uh, didn't you say vodka. alcohol? Uh, vodka. Oh, you said alcohol one time. Oh, no, I, I was saying that because vodka is alcohol. Uh, because vodka, anyway. And we have a new answer. Oh, okay. So the card's right. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay, the card's right. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, my God, who would know this? What percentage? I bet Alex Gumpel would uh, know. What, the next question? He knows a or lot vodka. of things. Okay, let's see. Well, we should get him on the phone. What percentage of the world's smokers live in China? Now, I I think there's a tremendous amount of smoking in China, right? Anyway, it doesn't matter because I didn't write this question. What percentage? Yeah. Wow. Wow. Chat room's going very high. Okay. <laughs> Gumby says, Chinese people are born with a cigarette in their mouth. Whoa. Jammer B, what percentage of the world's smokers live in China? I'm going with the people who say 60%. Oh, okay. I'm going with 65%. Just, just, just based on the card and what people in the chat room are saying. What percentage of the world's smokers live in China? The answer is da -da -da -da. Oh no, it's little. 35. Oh. Becky, you're close. That's interesting. I wonder what we percent were... I wonder what percent of the Earth's population is in China. I'm gonna look that up. Oh, okay. Okay, very good. Um Oh, and then I have no idea. I don't know how you figure this out. One last uh, question on this card. How many pounds does a gallon of ice cream weigh? How many pounds does a gallon of ice cream way. Yeah, I'm I'm being told and I kind of believe it that there are varying qualities of ice cream, some with more air than others, some denser than others. Uh -huh. So but maybe there's an average. 
Well, we're, we're, we're going to say, we'll change it to how many pounds does an average gallon of ice cream weigh? I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to say three pounds. Three pounds, eight, two pounds. Hey, was that a gallon? Uh, I buy or half a gallon? Wait, maybe maybe those are half a gallons. I, I, now I can't. The, those are they half a gallons? Those brown containers of ice cream? Or those mm, gallons? I, I haven't bought well, one. Well, now, time. now a pint of ice cream is uh, an ounce less. Yeah, they're getting five, smaller. F- five pounds magoo. Half gallons. Of, yes, mi- twisted misty. Are correct. Half gallons and not half gallon. Yeah, it's like freaking uh, coffee. Uh, uh, the can of coffee that looks like the old one pound can is 13 ounces. All right. According to this card, how many pounds does a gallon of ice cream weigh? Five pounds. Hey, that's what I said. Yay. You did? I thought you said three. Uh, Bur- okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. I said three. Sure. <laughs> I'm wrong. <laughs> It takes a big man to say he's wrong after you point out that he's wrong. Okay. Fact or crap? Crap. Oh, I happen to know that I happen to know the answer to this. Bell bottom pants were originally invented for actors who needed to change clothes quickly backstage. Fact or crap? Bell-bottom pants originally invented for actors who needed to change clothes quickly backstage. Crap, crap. Dry heat says, sounds reasonable. Crap, crap. Sailors, crap, crap. Sailors, crap. It is indeed crap. But why why do sailors need them? Oh, you don't know? I don't. If you take off bell bottoms and tie a knot in them and raise them over your head and bring them down fast in the water, they become a life jacket of sorts. Interesting. And and it does work because we did it once down at the marina. Uh, yeah, you just take, especially the whites, because... <laughs> Yeah, chat room the, agrees. Yeah, the the blues are wool, and I doubt if it's gonna work that way. But navy whites just tie a knot in them, or coast guard whites. Uh, dun, dun. French is French is an official language. Yes, it is. More... <laughs> We're gonna miss you when you go away. Uh, French is an official language in more countries than any other language except English. Fact or crap? French is an official language in more countries than any other language except for English. Well, this is very, wow. It's like fact, crap, fact. Now it's going toward now. It goes toward fact and then a lot of crap. Jeremy B, what's your take? French official language in more countries than any other fact. except for English. Fact. A Ling- fact? Lingua Frankie. Um, yes, fact. It is a fact. And here's our final fact of crap. Fort Knox in the United States was named for Henry Knox, a pirate active during the world of 1812. Fort Knox was named for Henry Knox, a pirate who was active during the War of 1812. Fact or... Wow. (laughs) Wow. No, it was named for Francine with huge knockers. Only one fact. It was named after a famous joke. So it was the school of hard knocks. Jam a B, fact of crap. I'm going with crap. I'm going with crap. 
It is, in fact, crapola. All right. Do we have a beer commercial? I'd love to take a drink. Um, uh, I can play a beer commercial, yes. Yeah. Two one-minute beer commercials would be perfect. You got it, boss. It's crap. It was Harley, Max. There's a happy sound. There's a happy sound. Give me a G. It's G time. Time for Golden Gunther. For the happiest taste in beer today. Come on, let's all sing. Get the hap, hap, happiest taste in beer. Get a cool G right away. It's a quick thirst quencher with the happiest taste that you'll find in beer today. So light and tangy too. Golden Gunther Brew. Has a taste so bright and clear. Have a glass of Gunther and you'll have a little fun to get the happiest taste in beer. Yes, sir, get a cool G. Pour yourself a glass of pleasure. Light, bright, always agrees with your taste. Always refreshes. Man, does a G feel good rolling down your thirsty throat. Yeah, no me, beer like it at any price. So say it. Give me a G. And we can, we can go out there. Okay. Uh, I also got a quick call into Dennis. We'll do a snappy answer and then go into match game. Uh, um, oh, wait, we have to do our uh, Guinness Book of World Records. The world's largest pretzel. I will give you the dimensions. And the card is how much did the world's largest pretzel weigh? This is it. Uh, um, holy cow. This pretzel is 26 feet wide and 10 feet deep. And that pretzel weighs how much in pounds? Okay. World's largest pretzel. 20, you can might as well say 27 feet. 26 feet, 11 inches. 27 feet by 10 feet. And it weighed 400, 1,500, 125, 12 feet. Let me see. I don't know. It looks pretty. That's pretty big. I'm, I'm going to go with 180 pounds. 180 pounds. Uh, <laughs> with salt. Uh, Jammer B. I'm going with World's Salty Corn Bar and Ranger Rick. 250. 250. Uh, I'm turning the card over. Oh my God. The pretzel, 26 feet, 11 inches by 10 feet, two inches weighed 842 pounds. Wow. Um, uh, okay. We're almost up to an hour. So we won't, we'll do our snappy answers next week and we'll start. Oh, you, you want to get Alex? Got Alex. Oh, good. And Dennis just came down. Here's his paper. And you got a pen? Uh, okay. Uh, I'm going to put make it so that you can hear. Uh, um, um, okay. Uh Grandpa Jones chased Grandma Jones with his blank. Grandpa Jones chased Grandma Jones with his blank. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Banjo, oh, his walker, <laughs> wheelchair, electrified walker. Uh, I don't know if anybody's going to match me. Huh? Uh, bottle of Viagra, oh, that's funny. Oh, Rascal Scooter, oh, I got a match. With his frozen vodka, with his grabbing device, oh, that's funny. Oh, this is very funny. 
<laughs> Grandpa Jones chased Grandma Jones with his pants down. <laughs> um, okay, uh, Alex, we're going to start with you. Alex, Grandpa Jones chased Grandma Jones with his blank, with his teeth. Oh, oh we got a match? Okay. Oh, uh, I'm guessing we did. Oh, okay. Uh, John. Jamma B, Grandpa uh, Jones. We have we have a we have a surprise we have a surprise uh, participant. Oh, with his dog. Okay. Oh, is is that Shy Burke? Is that Boggin Basement Burke? It is. Oh my God. He's 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 being re he's relearning how to do this thing on Saturday. Oh my God! I'm yes, gone. because you're you're traveling the world soon. Well, um, West Coast. Okay. Grandpa Jones chased Grandma Jones with his blank. I wrote, I got a match with his electric cart. And did we get your answer, Jamma B? We did not. And your answer is with his drone? Yay, Rentaro. Uh, and with it, what does that say? What? With his bad handwriting. Dennis's answer. Uh, grave full of hope. Oh, okay. Mm. Um, Paul said, oh, from uh, December 1977, Paul said, I think my suitcase is real alligator. It keeps trying to blink. Paul said, I think my suitcase is real alligator. It keeps trying to blink. I think I have a good answer. Uh, I have an exact answer. All right. A lot of matches. Um, okay, we're going to start with Dennis. Paul said, I think my suitcase is real alligator. It keeps trying to blank. Uh, and Dennis said, it keeps trying to uh, bite me. Dickie D. Bite me. Jammer B. Golf? <laughs> Okay. Bargain basement. Oh, no, we're going to do Alex. Uh, uh, climb out of my pit. Charlie, not yet. Two more questions. Um, Alex, uh, bite me. Okay. And Jammer B. I think it's real alligator. Oh, that's right. Golf. Yeah. That's a terrible answer. Well, isn't that um, what they do in Florida? Play golf. And isn't that where alligators are? Oh, uh, he, no, isn't okay. alligators on the golf course a thing that happens all the time? <laughs> wow, someone doesn't want to take the buzz of laying down. Um, Ken was so tired. How tired was he? He was so tired, he fell asleep while he was blanking with Harriet. Well, that's what you get for blanking with Harriet. <laughs> Charlie, soon. We're going to see before and after because Charlie's going for uh, a grooming Wednesday. Ken was so tired he fell asleep while he was blanking with Harriet. Uh, I'm going with a clean answer. So I probably won't get any matches. Any answer uh, can be, any clean answer can be dirty in my head. Oh, okay. Uh, marrying, doing dope, wow, eating, skydiving, golfing, making whoopee, chatting, arguing, making whoopee, divorcing, dancing. Wow. I don't, oh, I did get a match. Okay. Uh, Jammer B, Ken was so tired, he fell asleep while blanking with Harriet. Reclining. Okay. Uh, Alex, so tired he fell asleep while he was blanking with Harriet. Dancing, that's very good. You got some matches. 
Uh, bargain basement Burke cooking. Okay. Uh, I said dining. Uh, a couple of people said eating. That's a match. And then it said, while <laughs> studying French, that would put anybody to sleep. It's a good answer. It is a good. <laughs> um, Charlie, soon, soon. By the way, Dick, yes. I bought my first recliner ever this week. And I actually reclined wow. at my house and fell asleep. So that's why I said What, recliner. you mean you just bought your first recliner ever now? Yeah, I've always had an office chair because I've always sat at a computer. And it turns out with my hip replacement surgery coming up in two months, they say uh, office chairs are not good and you should have a recliner. So I bought myself a recliner. A vibrating a recliner? recliner? Is it vibrate? I no. I went. I that was an option. I said I don't need the heat. I don't need the massage. But I got the oh, kind okay. of, that that full that goes forward and kicks you out, helps you get out. Oh yes, with the handle on it. No, it's all motorized. Oh great! But it, it you know it leans forward so that it's easier to stand up. Right. Oh, that's yeah. good. Which I will be testing when I get my new hip on October seventeenth. Wow. Um, oh, this is uh, this is good. John did a little blanking. No, he didn't. Every day. Yeah. John did uh, a little bl blanking. Uh, the chat room is wrong. Whatever the chat room said, it's false. It's wrong. I never did that. I never hit her. I never hit her. Oh, hi, Mark. Uh, it's considering I wrote close to 40,000 questions, <clears throat> I wrote on the back of this, the 88th question, I match game question I wrote. How are you ever going to write 88 more? God. Repeat the question for us, please. Um, John did a little blanking every day. Okay, every day, good. Yeah, John did a little blanking every day. Um, probably soon. We're going to do this and one more, and then you. Okay. It's very, he's very smart today. Um, okay, we're going to start with me. John did a little blanking every day. I said, John did a little napping every day. I can confirm that that is true. Uh, okay. Complaining, uh, uh, Jammer B, John did a little wordle every day. Mm. Oh, you and Alex, Alex, John did a little blanking every day. Lying. Okay. Charlie, one more question. Then you little lying. Okay. And Dennis, John did a little praying every day. That's good to know in this chat room. Uh, okay, one more no, question. No, 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 no. Burke's answer is very important. Oh, wait, Boggin Basement Burke. I'm sorry. Read the question. Uh, John did a little blanking every day. <laughs> oh. So, uh -huh. that's how it is. so that's how it is. That's the way it goes. That's why Boggin Basement Burke is always in the basement because he's get tired of being yelled at. Um, Edna said, I don't know what happened, but ever since I started using oil of turtle, I've had the overwhelming desire to blank. Edna said, I don't know what's wrong. Ever since I started using oil of turtle, I've had the overwhelming desire to blank. There are a couple of funny answers to this. You know, you can refine that down to wax. <laughs> uh, uh, um. Okay, Alex, we're going to start with you. Edna said, I don't know what happened. Ever since I started using oil of turtle, I've had an overwhelming desire to 
Snap. Oh, okay. Did, like a snapping oh, you got some turtle. Matches? Okay. Uh, no, that's good. Did I get any matches? I wrote, I have an overwhelming desire to get in a shell. Okay, good. Jammer B, overwhelming desire to ninja. Oh, what, what what's the full name of those? Ninja teenage. Oh, teenage, yeah, mutant ninja, mutant ninja turtles. Yeah, yeah. I I uh, I did that movie for Mad. Uh, teen rage, teen rage, nitwit turtles. Sounds good. Know. Yep. Um. Oh. We got a match. <laughs> Ever since I started using, I've had the desire to race with a rabbit. And bargain basement Burke hide in my shell. Yes. Perfect match. When does Burke start his reign of terror? I'm here next week and then I'm gone. Okay. For like six weeks, I'll probably be for in. Six for six weeks? I'll be in for one of them, and then I'll be back after six weeks, and then I'll be gone for another two weeks with a new hip. Holy cow. Wow. Soon. <laughs> Think about how, be how much better this show will be with a new hip. Oh, okay. Yes, Charlie, we hear it. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, the shaggy Charlie. Hang on, Charlie. Come on, buddy. Yeah. I don't need yeah. I can take that off. Okay, hang on, hang on. Here, wait, wait, wait. Come on, Charlie. Okay. Oh. Okay, this is Shaggy Charlie before his grooming. Okay, ta da See, he needs a grooming badly. Now he's happy. <laughs> Look at Charlie, the chat room. Are you happy now, Charlie, that the chat room? I let, uh, 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 the chat, uh, 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 yeah, yeah. That's it, show. He's waving to the chat room. <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen. This, oh, wow. This goes fast. We did like an hour and 10 minutes. This has been regular, old fashioned. Giz Fizz and uh, with the Charlie Cam. Uh, regular old fashioned Giz Fizz is a Mark Goodson, Bill Todman, Dick D. Bartolo, Dennis Wonderland, Charlie the Dog, Jamma B, Bargain Basement Burke, Beatmaster, Scooter X, Tech Dino, Gumby, Becky, Myra Joyce, Giz One. Loquacious. Oh, my chat room stopped moving. Logan 5. Toad Sloth. Roberto. I'm trying to get my chat room going again. Gumby. I need names. I need names. Loke. Okay. Redacted. Doug. J286. Logan 5. Mr. Dave. Superu. Brought to you by Turtle Wax. Remember, it's not just for turtles anymore all right thank chat you room, this is great fun yeah uh chat room next week we're doing two gizwa shows chad's going away for a week we're doing a show tuesday next week and a gizwa show thursday next week so hopefully you can join us uh, 4.30 California, 7.30 uh, local. Tuesday and Thursday next week. Uh, Jamma B, we'll see you next Saturday, right? I'll be here. Okay, and then uh, Bargain Basement Burke at the controls. Alex, good seeing you. Uh, uh. Wow, we almost saw his face. Almost, almost. We had to come Almost. Away. Yeah. All right. What is all that stuff on the floor? Uh, that, that's his uh, answers to match game. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, I probably didn't cut to the right camera as he threw them up in the air, but that's a, oh, it's a I, tradition. Oh, oh, oh. A tradition oh, from way back when he used to be here on Saturdays. Oh, okay. And then okay. Sunday morning, I'd have to come and clean it all up. Oh, okay. All right, chat room. Great fun. Take care. Bye, everybody. Thank you, Dick. Bye-bye. Okay, thank you. 
And now it's time to get the refund reruns ready. Ready the refunds. Ready reruns. 